that they will succeed in whatever they do. For the first time since they took oath of office, the head of state on Monday morning held a session with his new cabinet, accompanied by their principal secretaries at State House Nairobi. In their families. With his administration under immense pressure following the Gen Z-led demonstrations, a move that led to the nomination of four senior ODM members into cabinet, President Ruto called on his new appointees to prioritize service delivery. We are one team. And we must work as one team. I listen very carefully when you took your oath of office. And it was about the Republic of Kenya. It was about the people of Kenya. Let us make the people of Kenya our first and only priority. It will make us go very far. The dissolving of the previous cabinet came after weeks of Gen Z protesters calling for the firing of the entire cabinet, citing opulence and disregard of the Kenyan people. The meeting came just a few hours after President Ruto graced the skies for the first time in two months. Ruto, widely criticized for globe trotting, has been forced to stay in the country owing to the tense political situation brought about by the Gen Z demonstrations. Despite letting go of his previous cabinet in just under two years into his tenure, President Ruto reappointed 10 of his previous CSs, alongside four ODM members who vehemently opposed some of President Ruto's policies, including the Hustler Fund, which is currently under former ODM Deputy Party Leader Weekly for Paranya, who is expected to ensure Kenyans who he previously called on to default on payment of the fund do pay back. And finally, Your Excellency, is just to encourage everybody to love one another and to appreciate each other. You know, when I look, I find Hassan Joho in the same cabinet with me, and Nopio and I and John Buddy. I appreciate that Kenya is great, and we must all learn to live with each other because you never know about tomorrow. The four who are close allies of former Premier Rala Odinga have, however, vowed to ensure the Kenya Kwanza plan is fully implemented. I am sure my colleagues are ready to work for the people of Kenya. We know the accountabilities to the people of Kenya. We have heard it from you. And you're the one who is carrying the torch of this accountability on our behalf. We will support you. I'm sure I'm speaking for my colleagues. We will support you. You have actually covered in a very short time what we expect. And now even those of us who are new, uh, we are ready to go. Today's session came as the Moses Otangula led committee on appointments prepares to table its report on the vetting of Beatrice Askul as the CS nominee for the East African Community and Attorney General nominee Doka Sodwar tomorrow before the National Assembly. Ian Kitani, K24 TV, Nairobi.